So today's task is going to be to remove the ply lining and the bulkhead from the back of the van. We can then see what we've got as a base to work with. We know roughly where we want to put the windows, uh, the front windows and the rear windows. So we can mark them out and see where everything else needs to go. Hi guys, I'm Phil, that's Elle. This is our Volkswagen Craft that we're turning into a home away from home. Follow us and our sausage dog Frankie as we convert the van and get away for some adventures. Now from what you can see, most of these have been fitted on with these. I think they're 8 mil. <coughs> yeah. 8 mil um, self-tapping bolts, screws, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'd say 90% of it's been fixed on with that. But then, just for the laugh, we seem to have used some standard self-tapping screws on some of them. So that's why those ones are still on. I'll have to go back round and take the rest of the screws, I mean they've just like randomly dotted them in not even in any sort of way, shape or fashion, just thrown them in for a bit more support maybe I don't know, we'll get there in the end, we'll sort them out So, everything is removed by the bulkhead and the floor. Overall, the metalwork looks pretty good. Um, I don't think there's any serious concerns that we should have. I mean, the, I've said before, the van is only four years old, so if there was any massive problems, I'd be really worried. But uh, they've made a good job of weight reduction, filled with plenty of holes. We've got silver hammer right. So we're gonna, I mean, most of these will be all right. There's no issues. But another video, we're gonna rip the side panels off, seal all the little hole, all the clips up, fit them back on, and just make sure there's no rust on the inside or the outside. I mean, the inside we can see now, but along the outside, so you can actually see the wet down there, where the water's come in through the clip. You can actually see water, and it gathers. Uh, the other problem we might have, well not problem, but where they screw the arch coverings on. Both sides, nice and rusty, just what we didn't want. And again this van's four years old. Surely they must have thought of a better way to mount these than that. Because that isn't good. I can imagine if people buy vans that are 15, 20, 25 years old, these are going to be like rotten. There won't be out left. So yeah, that's going to be another video of us doing that. But now I think I might start taking the bulkhead out. It's got Torx fittings all the way around the top by the looks of it, all the way down the sides, and then some standard nuts on there. And then I'm not too sure at the bottom, I'll find out when I get there. So let's do that now, shall we? All the bolts removed from around the edge. The top three pieces of the bulkhead have been removed. Which are over there. Which are there, yep. Um, so we're like, you can say we were like yanking on this, going, oh, it's a cover. Right, what we'll come up? And there's some heat hidden hidden bolts. Oh, look. So now we talk out get them. Um, and see if anyone's left us any treasure. It looks as like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, probably twelve bolts on the back of there. Now oh, how the fuck do I get to the <laughs> Okay. Reach in.
Well, that's the bulkhead out. So it opens up the cab loads more. So much more space in it now. All the way through to front. Our plan still is just to put a bench seat in here. Demonstration. Uh, room in the bulkhead. Uh, we're not millionaires, unfortunately. We've got 12p. So. On two halls that were very sticky. Right then, next job is to take this plastic rear panel out. As you can see, they've got little tabs to get a screwdriver in. <laughs> Just like that. Possibly film on another one that works better. Yeah. We'll cut that bit out. on them and pull them out. Day two of removing the floor and cleaning it up. Floor's out, we managed to split it in two which was uh, more of a challenge than we expected. Most of the videos I've seen already it just falls apart but Apparently for us, um, we had to use a bit of uh, persuasion on it. But anyway, it's done now. Um, the floor overall is well, we swept out, but it's dirty, but not too bad. There's a few rust patches, just little spots, but it's just surface rust, rust where water must settle. Um, gonna give the floor, floor a good clean. There's some hot soapy water. Give it a clean out and then start treating it. looking at mainly this stripe down in the middle and the little two rustles taking the back step off as well well me cover plate and there's a couple of little marks in there so it's a good job we did take that off before covering anything up um, we just pulled the seal off as well because there's a couple of bits in this tree but overall it's pretty good let's go so we've got a small wire brush, like a toothbrush size one. Yeah. We've got some cure rust and a big brush. And a big brush. Uh, the cure rust basically says ensure the surface is clean and free from loose rust, paint, oil, and grease. Where are you going, dog? Um, watch the hammer at cure rust turns blue black whilst reacting with the rust. If the area does not change colour, apply it, reapply within one hour. Apply top coat after three hours. So after after a few hours we've got some hammerite smooth silver to put on um, just to cover it all up and make it all the same colour again well so, to protect it oh well, yeah to protect it as well but... can I sausage? yeah and Frankie don't like it <laughs> we've sanded back 
all the what looked to be sort of rust spots a lot of it just turns out to be real minor surface rust but although it looks like we've put a lot of curus down i'd rather put more down and know that it's covered than have to worry about it later in the future um so yeah we've those been up some of the panels on the side doing some of the screw holes just to be sure just to be positive that there's going to be no problems with it basically um the two wheel wells just got to do them next uh with it taking three hours up to three hours to cure we're going to go out and grab a couple of bits that we need we've ordered some conduit for the wiring and we've got a roller cable to pick up um but yeah we're getting somewhere which is good